Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Crash Story 2. So, I have been busy. I have been placing down this whole big-ass foundry. And, oh boy, it looks bloody amazing. We also got the steel foundry down here. Uh, the steel foundry also has the coke belt going through the middle. Uh, <laughs> funnily enough, all of this goes into only 10 of these machines over here. Um, which is, well, interesting to say the least. I mean... Uh, five of these machines eat one steel ingot per second and make ten steel plate per second. And to make one ingot per second, we're gonna need a hundred of these! Now, each side actually does have exactly a hundred of these. Uh, which is kind of interesting. Now, of course, these over here, um, will be kitted out with speed models at some point in time. Um, and we might need less of these, so we might need less machines over here. But then we still have the space to take machines out. That is good. Uh, I would rather leave space to take things out than to have to leave space to put things back in. Because the matter always doesn't go well. And then, of course, we also have the copper smelting over here. And the copper smelting is identical to the iron smelting. There's nothing much we need to do over there. Also, the machines have already been kitted out with water over here. So, water is already connected. The only thing we need to do is to connect a couple more of the final parts. One of the big final parts we need to connect is the sulfuric acid. And let's start over here. Uh, and once we got the sulfuric acid in, we will start ordering up trains. Actually, no, even more important, we do need to make the power flux still. And we're not making the power flux over here yet. Now, I've also already put in a couple of stations. Some of these are already connected. These two over here are two iron ore import stations. This one over there is a iron plate output. This is the steel output. It's not going to go that fast. Also, this vein is the wrong way around. What the hell? Um, that's probably something we have to check every now and then. But yeah, steel is not going very, very fast. I guess it's fine. Uh, and then this one over here, this will be the coke input. Uh, we could technically already connect up the coke input. Uh, because why not? We, we, we got what we need for that. There we go, and then just pull you along. And coke input is going to be pretty straightforward. Start from over there, go all the way over there. Uh, is that going the wrong way around? It is, what the hell. There we go, this way, that way, and then this way. We don't, well, this will probably be required to be a red belt at some point in time, but I don't think it needs to be a red belt right now. So let's just keep it yellow for now. Good, 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 good. Then, of course, um, yeah, the, the, the stations up there. Um, and then down here, we've got more stations. We got one for copper ore input. We got one for stone ore. Stone ore doesn't really exist. Stone input. <laughs> we got one for the vulcanite input. We got one for sulfuric acid. And then we got one over here for the copper plate output. Now, the question, of course, is um, where do we make our vulcanite and how much vulcanite do we actually need? That is a very good question. Um, let's have a look at you. So, 10 of these machines. And it's actually going to be the same for each of these. And I think it's also the same for these. Yeah, it's exactly the same for these. So, yeah, 60 of these machines need 10 pyroflux per second. We've got... Hey, you know what? We've got exactly 60 of them. <laughs> so, we need to be able to make 10 pyroflux per second. That is one of these. One of these. Only one. What the hell? I was expecting loads more. <laughs> Absolutely both loads more. Uh, we might have an issue, actually. Um, because we, well, we do make a decent amount of stone. Do How much stone do we make? Let's just assume that this machine over here is running full speed. Every two of these make 0 0.3 stone per second. We got six of these. That is 0 0.9 stone per second. Let's just assume that we make one stone per second. One stone per second can be turned into sand. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that? There we go. Sand. Oh. Yeah. One stone. Three stone can be turned into 7.5. Six stone into 15. One stone is more or less being turned into two and a half sand. So we are more or less making two and a half sand per second. And then the question is, how much sand do you need? Ah. <laughs> mm. This one needs one sand per second. The amount of sand that we make 
actually eclipses the sound and the amount of sand that we need to make the pyroflux. That could be an issue. <laughs> Um, we might not need the stone input then. Hmm. So what do we do with the extra sand? Well, we will see. We will see. Fact of the matter is, we do need one machine over here that makes the pyroflux for us a little single machine. That's really, really impressive. Like, only one of these is required. I was expecting way more, to be perfectly honest. And that does mean... Um, that we do need... Well, what we could do is at least do something like this. And maybe move this around a little bit. Here. Yeah. We've got three machines connected to this. So why not do something like a triple-way pump? And then we can say, you connect up over here. This one over here goes... Yeah, definitely go underground over there. Before we hit the part where we need to be, which is... Oh. <laughs> There's a belt in the way. I just placed that there. I am smart. I am oh so smart. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And then that's better. Good. But yeah, then then we can at least connect up blocks like this. But this is going to be oh, it's gonna be an issue, definitely. Power flux, really? <laughs> no, no, we need more. We need more. Oh, I forgot about the crafting speed. Whew. So sixty of these do need ten per second, but we got a crafting speed of four, so we need forty per second. And that means that we're going to need four of these. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, now that looks at least something like a build. Well, like, like one of these looks very, very, how to put it, lonely? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. What we could do is something like this. Let's place this thing like smack over here. And then... You connect over there, you connect over there, you connect over there, you connect over there. Pyroflux. There we go. They can just start pushing into there. And then we just tap one out over here. We tap one out over there. And we tap one out over here. This thing over here just moves up a bit. There we go. You connect over there. This one goes down. This one goes up to wherever. Good. Um, sure. That does mean, um, let's see, the Pyroflux. Which, which one of these? We, we ordered up one of these for this. So, a yellow build? I think yellow belt will be fine. Two of these machines eat two. Yeah, yellow belt will be fine. Just just get yourself a yellow belt of the good stuff. And it will probably go like this. And it will go like that. And we'll go back again. Oop, and then I'm a little bit stuck, but that is fine. And then just use some blue inserters because it will not be going fast. At all. That does mean that we do need more sand, which does mean we do need to process more sand on site, and I'm happy about that, because then we definitely don't have a sand issue. Good, good, good. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Nevertheless, uh, the sand does need to go in here somewhere. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Also, yeah, we go around like this. And then we go up and over like this. And then we finish it up off an air. Here we go. And then in. Only one. In. 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 That's where the sand will be coming in. Good, good, good. And then we just need some power around this whole thing. And then this whole thing over here is nice and tidy. We could, of course, add beacons to this thing. I completely neglect beacons for this build. This is a lovely build if you just want to push in um, into the center over here. But, yeah, a beacon build does make sense. So, okay, let's, 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 okay, scratch that. That was a very stupid idea. Yeah, just, just take it all away, please. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I also do have stupid ideas. Uh, and I do love every one of my stupid ideas because they are my stupid ideas. And my stupid ideas are, yeah, well, they're mine. <laughs> we could just do something like this. This, this is uh, more straightforward and gets the thing done. It is beacon ready. Uh, we will probably only have a small beacon over here. Technically, well, well, once we go to a, like a more advanced beacon, we have to move this around a little bit. But you know what? That will be fine. That will be fine. We could maybe still put the, the big tank. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. If we move you all... Ah, wait. Yes. If we move you all the way over there, and we move you all the way over there, and you all the way over there, 
Uh, then we can still... Then we can get the best of both worlds. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Then we have the best of both. And then we're going to have something like this over here with like pump, pump, pump. And then you go up and you go down. Oh, wait, not like that. Oh, this, this looks very lovely. Uh, the beacon hits everything we need. And then the only thing we need is like an input. Over here. And then an input. This will be where the sand is coming from. Here we go. And this will be coming from somewhere over there. Um, doesn't matter where it comes from right now. Good, 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 good. Yes. Let's do it like this. And then, of course, um, a blue one over here. A blue one over there. A blue one over here. A blue one over there. And red-handed surgers. Here we go. That works like a charm. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm spending way too much time on this. But... The more I look at it, the more stupid ideas I get. Um, and... Yes, there we go. How about we do something like this? Yeah, pick this up. I mean, I do prefer having um, blue inserters it's over red inserters. Red inserters are fine, but... Blue inserters are finer. <laughs> there we go. And being able to use shorthand inserters for these things is definitely the way I want to do it. It's a little bit more underground heavy, but this way around, it's all shorthand inserters and we can... Okay, <laughs> now we're done with this. <laughs> Add some power poles to this beautiful, gorgeous thing. Here we go. And we'll be fine in terms of power poles. Will it be fine? Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure that the middle over here is not powered up. Now it is. And then we also need to connect you up to the grid. Wait. No, we don't. We are connected over there. Good. Perfect. Lovely. I'll take this. Good. Which means over here, in this little area over there, we can put in some crush. Do I even have some pulverizers on me? Oh, I don't think I've got pulverizers on me. We can steal some from over here, I guess. Uh, there's one. Good. So one of these eats six stone per second. And makes 15 cents per second. We need less than that. What do we need? We need something, something, something in the terms of 4 cents per second. One of these will be more than enough to feed up uh, whatever we need over here. We could actually even squish it in over here. And then we're done with that as well. Here we go. Squish it in over there. And then just hook it up with a loader like this. Here we go. And a loader like that. And then we will have... Yeah, we only have one connection for the stone belt over here. So, the thing about these washes over here at the end, uh, the refinement process of the copper and the iron makes dirty water. The dirty water over here gets washed down into copper ore and stone, or into iron ore and stone. All the stone, we will just be trickling it back into the station itself. So we do the balancing of the stone inside of the station, of inside of the train station. The same we do for the copper ore and for the iron ore. So there will be only be one connection, and I guess it will be coming from over here actually somewhere. There will only be one connection that connects up to our lovely little uh, sand maker, and everything else will be coming from wherever. Good, 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 good. So you bring in copper. You over here, you could be bringing in, for example, the stone. And you over there, you could be bringing in the Vulcanite. And then we just do something like this. We pull you along all the way over here. All the way over there. And then... Yeah, that's too long. That is definitely too long. Almost. There we go. And that will work. And that will work. Is that... Wait a minute. Okay, that's too long. But, but I kind of... Yeah, sure. Make these red. I think this belt will be red either way at some point in time. So, might as well already put in the red inserters. And red on the rounds. There we go. Good. And then we're going to you, you, and you. And off it goes. Perfect. Uh, the pulverizer, I will be picking, picking that one up um, soon. But let's maybe have a quick peek over here at the sulfuric acid. Now, sulfuric acid will be coming out from over here. We could do the same. We could put easily put in three output pipes. Maybe. 
possibly. Hmm. Oh, what's going on over here? That's that, that's a remnant of something. <laughs> Let's start. Maybe. Well, actually, three output pipes makes a lot of sense. I mean, we don't really want to 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 overuse our pipes. I mean, we got enough space for multiple pipes. Might as well put in as many pipes as we need. So this thing over here is going to go all the way up. Can we make that? Oh, we can. All the way up. And then one over there. We might want to place a pump over here somewhere. Oh, we, we are pretty far up now. <laughs> sure, let's go around the corner over here. Put the pump in over there. And then we go this way. And then we're going to connect this thing up over here with the sulfuric acid that is required over... Ooh, very close. We don't need this pipe. There we go. Over here. We do need a connection that goes around. And I would rather... I, li I love to have, like, instead of, like, a big T-section in our pipes, I would rather have... Ooh, oh, shit, that is contaminated now. <laughs> that was fast. I would rather have, like, a pipe that goes around the back and then goes back all the way over here, where we then connect over there, so that it can flow around. Good. We can set up um, the, the... Okay, the Pyroflux is connected up, but we can hook up everything we need now to start off the system. And let's maybe start off with the iron ore. This thing over here is going to not be Tyler Boydson. Um, this one over here is going to be an iron ore requester. There we go. And let's close down the other one, the old one. The old one is, of course, all the way over here, both of them. Because it's just going to connect it up to the logistic network. And then since it has no special thing going for it, it will just be disconnected right away. Um, you are loading up. Ooh. <laughs> we might need some more iron ore outposts. That is definitely a thing we might need. Nevertheless, this is already set up correctly. Um, 8,000? Really? <laughs> There's less than 8,000 in here you open up? That's... That's not a lot. <laughs> I guess that's fine. But we might need to tweak this number over here. But th that's fine for now. That's fine for now. And then this one over there is the coke, of course. Then over here... We should... This one should already be ready for us um, to come in. Ah, I see what I have over here. This one over there needs to be over here. Thank you very much. Hook you up. Hook you up. And you are not going to be RNA. You are going to be a sulfuric acid requester. We have one of those. I'm pretty sure we have one of those. Here it is. Put it in. And he should be coming over right away. He is coming over right away. Then, as for the Vulcanite and for the stone, um, this one over here will be the stone requester. Tom Hasdin. No, 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 no. You're not Tom Hasdin. You are a stone requester. There we go. Train is coming over right away. And you know what we don't have? I don't think we have a Vulcanite requester. And by requester, of course, I mean a Vulcanite train. <laughs> no, we don't have one of those yet. That's kind of silly and stupid. Um, the other issue we have over here is... Ooh. Is that enough space? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. These trains over here also have issues with getting refueled. Hmm. That's kind of stupid of me. Now, we can refuel... We can definitely refuel the train over here, but we will not... Well, we will be able to refuel the front train at least, but we will not be able to refuel the back train over here unless we have some kind of weird diagonal inserter, which I don't think we have. Okay, but but that's... That's going to be a minor issue. Uh, for now, let's maybe just set up a train over here. Uh, we're just going to make one over there real quick, and then... Zip. Okay, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> We should definitely set up fuel input over here. At least for the front part of the train. That way around, even, even if the back part of the train might be completely disengaged and not ready to go, we at least have the ability to fill up trains. Now, I don't think that 90 degree inserters are a thing in Crestoria 2. I could be wrong about that, but then again, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. 
we could always well we could technically put some fuel in here but no 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 that 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 will then mess with the landing pad good okay you're in excellent and yeah we never set you up sadly so the train over here is not ready you go to the provider you go to the requester full cargo empty cargo off you go have fun over there nevertheless i think i got some vulcanite in my pocket yes there there is some vulcanite in my pocket here yeah, have some vulcanite there we go at least with this we can already start the process over here so we can see if everything oh wait unless of course if we don't have that pulverizer that pulverizer over there is going to be very very important so let's pick up a pulverizer as well there we go good and in the meantime, let's hope that that, well, that Volcanite train, it stacks up to 500, doesn't it? Uh, it's already out of my inventory. 200, okay, not 500. Cute. Pulverizer. Uh, there it is. Yeah, pick up these. Let's also let the bots please attend to me. There we go. Get all the minor resources we need. Yeah, that's the Volcanite train. There we go. Uh, there's already a second Volcanite rocket available, so he will be able to fill up nice and fast there we go there we go we might need some faster belt over there but that'll be fine for now good the bots have attended to me let's finish up at least the iron smelting so that we can at least see the iron smelting uh moving on i can also see that the iron ore train has arrived so we should be mostly ready over here yeah well, the iron ore is already in actually nice which means let's place you down real quick there we go you make sand. Excellent. That goes around. You have your Vulcanite. So you can make the Power Flux. There we go. We're now making Power Flux. It is not hooked up yet to... The system up on the buff. So that's definitely something we need to do. Let's see. Let's maybe do something like this. That's... Wait... It will probably go over here. So this, that, this, that, this, that, this. You over there. You over there. And then you go all the way over here. Can we? No, we can't make that in one full swing. Let's put one over there. And then you over there. You over there. There we go. These things over here should be full of enriched iron. They are excellent. The machines at the end of this should probably be full with the rest of it. Yeah, the iron ore and the other stuff. We are just going to use a loader for this. And over here we can actually use both of these. And let's do something like this real quick. And then you have an air. And then filter. Just filter out either. Uh, let's filter out the stone because that's something we can reuse all the time. There we go. And then this was where the stone will go. This is where the iron ore will go. Ah, actually, if we do it like this, that's... That is tainting sources, more or less. Well, you know what? I think it will be fine. I think it will be fine. I kind of wanted to keep the iron ore that we make in the top machine in the station for the top station. But we can just split and balance it at the end. I think that might be better. Good. Of course, this is now in the way, but we can place you over there. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. What is with the Vulcanite? Where did it all go? <laughs> oh, did it, I think it went all to the south. <laughs> it went all to the south. Okay, maybe maybe we just order up this train right now. He is full enough that we can at least have some Vulcanite action going on over here. But I'm pretty sure that all the Vulcanite went through this pump into the one thing we have not set up yet so be it so be it good um okay good then top one over here is stone bottom one over here is iron ore let's maybe get more of the other belts in as well actually you know what we can just pull you further down over here as well we just add you over here here we go let's do all of this more or less in the background But then let's overthink this a little bit more. Because I'm kind of thinking of something, 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 something. Ooh, what we could do is maybe something like this. That, this, and then over here. Filter out the stone. You go back up. You go back down. You go into here. 
you go over there. And this one over here. But, oh, I don't have any on me. <laughs> uh, but this one over here is going to go down all the way. All the way. To this one. And then we have only a single output. Way better. Okay, we do need some cliff explosives um, for now. That will be fine. I'll fix that after after the episode. But this way around, all of this over here will come together. It will all be merged together over here into this splitter. Stone will go up. I will go down, down to the south. Uh, which means this thing over here will want to go into here and into there. There we go. Uh, the other way around, please. Thank you. There we go. It's my Volcanite train over here already. Okay, my Volcanite train is here. Okay, that thing over there is making Volcanite. I can see it moving around. Maybe we can see the whole thing uh, start to breathe soon. Uh, this thing over here, we do need to... Yeah, let's, 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 let's place you maybe over here or something like that. Eh... Oof. Actually, wait a minute. Thinking of something stupid over here again. Mm. Yeah, if we make this a red one, let's just make this a red one. It will make things so much easier. Because then we can just do this, that, this, that, this. Wait, this, that, this. You go in. This one is the iron ore. And then over here we can do the same thing. You can from over there. You can from over there. Then the iron ore just trickles back into these two. And then the stone. We might not even need to trickle back the stone. We might just pull it all the way down here. Pull it all the way down here. Perfect. And then input priority from the top. There we go. Good. So these machines are now making Vulcanite. Lovely. I'm not seeing any over here. Are we maybe missing a pipe? Did I maybe break something over here? No. I think the issue actually is that... Yeah, I think the order of these pumps is just the wrong way around. It goes down first, then it goes over here, and then it will probably go up. And it seems we need to flood the system first. As this pump over here is just not getting any priority. Ah, liquids in Vector Oreo. Don't you love them? It might be better if we just completely ignore that. But then again, once we have a bit of a buffer in here, it will be fine. I mean, these over here, they only need to top it up all the time. We do need to make 40 power flux per second. This is exactly making what we need. So maybe just let the system back up a bit. And then once it's backed up, it will be fine. I do hope now. Nah, oh, we will not probably see that right now. That's a little bit sad. I do kind of want to see at least this in action. Okay, let's, let's hope that things will be fast. Maybe, maybe we can see it go any second now. Uh, well, we could do, actually, now to think about it. Here it is. Let's be less stupid. If you want to see it now, do it like this. There we can see it now. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, that's going to take some time. That's fine. Um, but I do want to see at least the iron ingots over here coming out. There we go. And I do want to see if all of this is working as expected. I'm a little bit concerned about this one. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned about this one. It, this should work. This should be able to output into a pipe. But I've also seen um, other mods where this did not work. Let's do this here. Let's make you let's make you go a little bit faster. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Good. Take this out again. <laughs> and do I see an ingot over there? There was an ingot over here somewhere. There are some ingots. Excellent. So these ingots over here. Um, I will probably make a belt that goes all the way down here and all the way down, down here. Um, so that we can put it into the science machine over here. I don't think I will be putting these ingots on the train. And my reasoning for this is it would be the only train that requires ingots. So this stuff over here is going on a belt to the south and then will be shot into space. For now at least. Maybe at some point in time, in time we do need uh, more ingots in space. And maybe we then do need this more in terms of train loads. But for now, it will just go into a belt. I might even 
kind of thinking about that. Might just even shoot it up with a delivery cannon. That might even be the better solution, because then we would just need to have a cannon over here, or maybe a cannon over there, that just shoots it up all the time, and then we just can ignore it completely. This this might actually be one of those things where, where a delivery cannon makes a lot of sense. Uh, but nevertheless, that is the completion of our Volcanut smelting. Uh, I will let this run for a bit, and then we'll probably have to do um, some minor tweaks in here, but I'm pretty sure that everything in here is working as intended. Good! Nevertheless, thank you so much for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of these actions does help me out in growing this channel to something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash botviking where we do even more Victorio. We also do more um, remote over the air. There's new DLC announced like this week. So there will be a whole bunch of stuff that uh, will be coming up in there. And we've started the next comment playthrough which is also a lot of fun to watch. Nevertheless, thank you so much, and have a good, amazing evening. Until next time, see you around!